Yeah. Okay, Wayne here again from Wayne Thoden Art, and this is going to be the fourth and final video from my art haul from Timu. Um, like I said, I, I I like the stuff I've gotten there, uh, and it does come quickly. It comes within two weeks, and I, I said before, I haven't had anything damaged. So uh, today, uh, I'm going to be looking at a 72-piece uh, colored pencil set. Uh, a little storage box, a couple of pencil sharpeners, some sketchbooks, got some paintbrushes, a uh, paintbrush box, I guess like uh, for watercolor. I got some carving tools, uh, like I said, pencil sharpeners, and uh, a little tiny figurine thing. So, uh, yeah, that should be good. So I hope you watch the other uh, three videos, and uh, remember, subscribe, and give me a like, and uh, let's do this. Alright, so this one we'll be looking at today. We got these colored pencil set and a tin. We have a little plastic storage box or pencils. I have uh, two different pencil sharpeners. I have some paintbrush sets. Which maybe I'll start painting again. Alright, so we have a couple of sketchbooks. I have a painting box, some carving tools, a little tiny statue and some calligraphy stuff, some ink, and a pen. So, all right, so uh, it should be good. Last video. Okay, so here is the, I guess, Hintung 72 color pencil uh, set, I believe. These are oil-based. Not sure, I'm gonna open them up. Just looking here, yeah. So these are oil based, never used oil based before. All right, so I guess there's a they have a nice color swatch inside with all the uh colors. They seem to have some numbers, uh, oh wait, but they have on the actual pencil they have names like Juniper Green. Uh, I believe there's three trees. Okay. That's what I get for having fat fingers. Yeah, okay, so we have three trees. Uh, sapphire, rose, look at some weird sun glow, dark indigo, just reading some of the names. Turquoise sea, interesting names. Okay, I'm just gonna put these right here for one set. Let's grab a sheet of paper. I'm just gonna take a random call. I just wanna see how they feel when they write. They feel nice. I don't know, you know, anything about if they're light fastness or any of that. Seems to blend okay. Uh, you know, for inexpensive set. I mean, this cost sixteen eighty eight, and I saw them on Amazon or saw them on another site for forty six. 99 uh, trying to see if it says anything about light fastness on here i'm gonna turn my light over for a second it's gonna be a glare so i can actually read this yeah i'm not gonna be able to read that because it's in another language okay so that makes it easy not to read yeah i don't know anything about their um Anything about if it's light fast or any of that, but I'm gonna look it up real quick, see if I can find anything out about it. Yeah, okay, I couldn't find anything on the light fast of this. Now, if you don't know what light fast is, it's a rating for 
uh, how long the color will last. Um, I think it's around from one to eight, one being poor, so the color will fade. Uh, doesn't take that long to fade. Uh, I think uh, some of the colors up to an eight, the color will stay for perhaps a hundred years or so, I'm not sure. Yeah, so, so if it's got an eight light fast rating, the color will stay for over a hundred years, and if it's got a one rating, it's less than two years. So basically, if you did a color, color pi picture, um, and some some of the colors, if they have a, you know, like not every pencil will have the same light fast rating either. So, um, for example, like Derwent, well, their baby blue has a light fast rating of one, and their acid yellow has a light light fast rating of six. So that can last 50 to 100 years. Uh, their brown is 100 years plus. It's it's eight. So not every pencil is going to have the same light fast rating. But being that I couldn't find anything on this brand. And I've actually seen the same cover under another. You know, instead of Hintong, it was a different brand. But the same cover. So it's just a, you know, they, they print these up. And then they put uh, labels on them for different, you know, Company. So like I said this was $16.88 I believe. I've seen them from $25.99 to $46 and change on different websites. I think the $25.99 was on an Amazon website. So you know if you want just general you know colored pencils that comes in a nice tin. There's a lot of colors. Uh, they're pretty pretty vibrant but how long they're gonna last I don't know. And uh, uh you're never gonna know with these things because you know they're not really, it says premium color pencils, but they're really not, uh, you know, if you want like Caran Dash or Caran Dash or Prismacolor or Derwent, that's probably the way to go if you want good pencils that are better as far as light pass goes. All right, I'm going to move on. Okay, next I got a, a couple of sketchbooks. Um... This just, it just said professional sketchbook. It was $6.69, which is not a great, great price for a sketchbook. Um, it has literally no information. Uh, it's, uh, oh, it's pretty heavy weight, though. It's pretty heavy weight, though. I don't know how it's going to be to draw on. But six ninety nine, and then this is a, a cowl or sketch. It's got a hundred sheets. It's only a uh, it's a nine by twelve, and it's a sixty eight pound. You know, so it is what it is. This was fourteen ninety eight. I've seen them on other sites for about twenty one fifty hundred sheets. So there you go. A couple of sketchbooks. Okay, a couple of quick little things here. I got um, just a little plastic box. A little. Pretty thick, pretty sturdy box, uh, plastic little storage bin. I'm gonna open it. It was three dollars and forty-eight cents, and it fits pencils. So you need a box to store pencils in. Three dollars forty-eight cents, and I just not even sure why I got this. It's two dollars and forty-eight cents. Just a little model if you want to just work on different poses. So this is a five point five inch. Two dollars and forty-eight cents. I saw it uh, on Amazon for seven dollars and seventy-one cents. So then you got a couple of more little items. Okay, I have three sets of uh, brushes here. Uh, Zouting brushes. These are flat end. These are pointed, and these are rounded end. Um, they're pretty nice brushes. Let me. Uh, I plan on starting to paint again I haven't painted in years but these uh yeah these are nice brushes they feel nice bristles bristles aren't pouring out pulling out or anything uh, are soft and again we got the round tip so these were uh, two dollars and eighty seven cents a pack which is a really good price I saw them on Amazon for eight ninety nine a pack so good, good deal on these brushes. They're nice brushes. So it makes me want to start painting. Okay, next item are it's a uh, ten-piece wood carving knife set. They're carbon steel. 
uh, chisels I like to do wood carving now and again um, this this box was $5.98 which is an okay price seemed pretty strong not too sharp but uh, I don't know I'm gonna give them a try one of these days when I get back into wood carving uh, like I said it's $5.98 I've seen them uh, similar set on Amazon for about $6.98 we have some chisels there. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Let's say, uh, have a little paint bucket kit. Open it up here. Sorry about the ruffling paper. Rustling paper. Okay, so you, got, you can see on top you have a place for brushes. Okay, you have a little palette in here. Okay, inside you could, you could clean your brushes. You can stack them in here, stand them up here. Pretty cool if you're in like your watercolor, whatever. It's a really good. It was, um, I believe, six dollars and twenty-nine cents. It also, you know, it's gonna handle it and carry it around. So, you, really cool. So you get a palette, and then uh, this is nice to have the brush off on, clean it. So again, six twenty-nine. I saw it on Amazon for. Uh, fourteen fifty-six. So if you're a watercolor artist, uh, this is a pretty cool deal. Okay, these are little um, mini easels. Uh, if you want to stand something up on a desk. Now, I don't know why I have so many of these. I don't know how many I ordered, but there's six in here. I'm just gonna. Take one out now. It was two dollars and sixty-nine cents. I got six of them. I've literally seen them for a three-pack on Amazon for nineteen ninety-nine. So now I don't know if they charge me two dollars and sixty-nine cents a piece. I got all six of them. It said two dollars and sixty-nine cents when I ordered it. So and it came like this. I didn't order six. I just ordered. Two. Okay. And it comes with a little rope. So basically, you got this, you got you tie the rope to it, and you have a little, you know, put the rope across. If you want to put some artwork on it, display it on a table, or if you're a little gallery setting, or you could just have it on your table to display artwork at your house. So you have these two little screws. And a rope. You would put one screw in here, one screw in here, and depending on how the angle you want. So pretty neat. Nice little tabletop easel. Okay, next thing I have are two two pencil sharpeners. Like I don't have enough pencil sharpeners now. Got some more. Okay, this is a uh, USB, got a little retractable button on here, or you just, uh, right, just pull it and retract back in. So I'm going to see if I can plug this in to one of my USB ports. See if it, uh, it's going to take a pencil here with a broken point, see if it works. Yeah, it doesn't work that good. There we go. Alright. Give it a nice little point. Doesn't seem to be too powerful. But it works. And this, uh, I can't find this anywhere else. It was $9.59. I haven't seen it. A little USB powered one like that before. Um, this other one I got is a, um, it's actually a Faber Castell. Which is weird for them to be selling that. It's not a Chinese company. So, again, I'm just going to bust this tape off. It's got two holes in it. So, you got a smaller hole, a larger hole for larger pencils. Obviously, it's just a. Okay, well, that comes out easy. It works. And I guess 
We want to empty out the shavings. This just pops out, but it did come out rather easy as I pulled the pencil out, which didn't make me real happy. But it's fabric costal, so can't be that bad. Okay, so uh, complete with shavings. And we have our two sharpeners. Oh, the, the just by the way, this was a dollar seventy-nine, and I saw it online at another store for seven dollars and forty-one cents. Okay. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to look at is this Jin Hao fountain pen. So, it comes in a really nice box. So we have the fountain pen. Now, a lot of times their pens are pretty expensive. So let me just, uh, real quick. Uh, yeah, so a lot of, it's a pretty heavy pen. Is this screw out? I'm not even sure. Well, this one's off. Okay, so I'll have to look into how you put the ink in here. It's got an ink cartridge. I don't know if this thing actually writes. Not quite sure how this works. I'm gonna have to look into that. Um, probably I pull the ink in because I believe. Let me put this back together. Maybe just, you know, it's definitely got a cartridge type of setup in there. Um, okay, so, oh, comes with directions. Nice. Okay, yeah, so you're gonna... You're going to do all of these directions to get the ink in. Oh, this is pretty cool. So, um, and in here is the ink. Okay, it's really nice. Nice bottle. Of the ink. I'm not gonna go trying to put the ink in it because I'll probably end up spilling it all over the place. But this was, uh, I believe, $15.68. Really nice packaging. Beautiful bottle. Pen, I'm curious. I haven't done pen and ink in a while too, so this might be fun to work with. Um, yeah, so there you have it. I saw that. Actually, the same set, I believe, at Walmart for $25.03, so it's not that great of savings, but it's a nice little set for uh, pen and ink, so there you go. That's the last item I'm going to be looking at from uh, Timu. So as far as Timu goes, I like them. Their uh, their stuff has always come quickly, like within two weeks. Uh, nothing has been damaged. Their prices are great. They give me coupons all the time. Uh, the shipping has always been free. So, uh, yeah, good stuff from Timu. All right. We'll talk to you later.